sisters, brothers, siblings in the Episcopal Church in Northern Indiana. Alleluia. Christ is risen. Christ is risen indeed. Alleluia. Greetings, friends, from Kansas City, Missouri, on this second Sunday of Easter, where I had the privilege of worshiping with our siblings in Christ at the Episcopal Church of the Redeemer. I'd like to say a, a warm thanks to Father Joe, to Father Isaac, and to Deacon Cheryl, who welcomed me and have offered me hospitality along the way today. This coming Monday, I begin my sixth week, my pilgrimage of lament and remembrance, walking the Potawatomi Trail of Death. This past week has been filled with lots of miles and wonderful encounters. I'd like to offer my thanks to Father Boniface, who offered me hospitality in Salisbury and also in Brunswick, to Father Creechy, who offered me hospitality at Sacred Heart in Norburn, to Father Drew and Jean and Jim, who offered me hospitality from the Immaculate Conception Church in Richmond, to Terry and Mickey, to Abigail and Fred at Christ Church in Lexington, who offered me hospitality. And finally, to Father Isaac and Deacon Cheryl, who offered me hospitality here in Kansas City. Today's gospel reading from John combines both the gift of the risen Christ and the gifting of the Holy Spirit. Only in John's gospel do we have those two, two things combined. Jesus, gather, Jesus encounters the disciples who are gathered in fear and he comes into their midst and he speaks words of peace, peace be with you. And then he shows them his hands and his side and they rejoice because it's the risen Lord. He then says again, peace be with you. As the Father has sent me, so I am sending you. And then he breathed on them the gifting of the Spirit. From that very moment, the church's ministry has been one of reconciliation. So my friends, the question I think that we need to grapple with this coming week in response to the gospel text is, where do we find opportunities to be proclaimers of the resurrection? And where do we look for opportunities to engage in the ministry of reconciliation that's not ours, but Christ's given to us? So my friends, look for those opportunities to be proclaimers of the resurrection and ministers of reconciliation. Grace and peace be with you.